First day, I have a really cool video to show you. I officially, at least I think I did, not officially, but I think I might have beat the world record for the world's thinnest paper. The thinnest paper in the world right now is is um not that solid actually, and it's um around 0.02 millimeters, which is one which means 500 sheets would fit in a centimeter, which is easy for this paper. And it's a lot more solid too. It's hand completely handmade. It looks like this. I can't even touch it, so vulnerable and thin, vulnerable and vulnerable and thin. Let the camera settle to see it well. I made a lot of it, but basically, um, I, um, I only was able to get a small piece of it because I'm still working on the strength of it, but I'll be folding with it sometime. Just to show how thin it is, I'll show you how I can fold it into multiple, pe into multiple and many layers. Two layers. Four layers. Eight layers, sixteen layers, thirty-two layers, and sixty-four layers. And if you look at a ruler, one sec. One sec. Let me grab my ruler. If you look at it, it is less than a millimeter with 64 layers. You know what that means? It's the world's thinnest paper in the world. You know what I mean? The thinnest paper in the world. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. It's super easy. So what you have to do is, you know the handmade paper making process? Well, this paper isn't like using a blender or anything. It's completely handmade, which is why this paper is so thin. And I'll explain why in a sec. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a container about this big, or in, you probably can't tell through the screen, but basically I have a container I use that's about um maybe well it doesn't really matter how what big how big the container is. What well, like what I do is I take the um and I use around maybe um well I guess the container matters. So basically I have about a about a twelve inch no that's too small um maybe an uh maybe about this much about this much so maybe fifteen inches by no. 10 inches, 13.5 inches by um around maybe, I don't know, four, five, six inches, maybe five. And then I fill it up about two inches tall with water. And then I take the slightest amount, and I'm in the slightest amount. Yes, this is my paper now. But basically, wow, it's crazy. I'm pulling it by one fiber. So basically, now what you're going to do is you're going to take one, um, eighth of a sheet of printer paper just pin perspective it's pretty much oops that's not what i want um one sec sorry i'm not very prepared basically you're gonna take an eighth of this whatever so basically any direction as long as it's one eighth of the paper and you're basically gonna rip it up and rip it up and rip it up until you have tiny, tiny pieces. And then you're gonna put it in the water and use your fingers to kind of mash it up like this. Now the most important part is having as much water as possible without without what's still making enough paper. What I did is I made the paper with um around ten percent. Oh no, that was not. Well, no, no, no. Like point one percent um of paper to water ratio. So, so if there, um, one one percent of the total mixture was probably paper, less if le if not if not less, which basically means I took um and I took a nine around a seven inch embroidery hoop and took it and I lifted it up and let it dry outside. But the nice thing about these papers is that they're super fast at drying, which is nice, you know. So that, that's really it. I hope you had a, you're having a great day and you enjoyed the tutorial. For a fuller, more in-depth tutorial, for a more in-depth tutorial will be coming out soon. Bye.